Tommy, back to it straight away. Saturday, Tuesday. How's it been today at training? Not much time to prepare, I suppose. Yeah, it's always difficult. It's the same for everybody, other than not for the opponents this week. Obviously, they had a rest at the weekend. Um, but it's part and parcel of the game in the modern day. You know, it's a, a three day turnaround, really, or two and a half. So it's about counting the lads and, you know, seeing, seeing who's healthy still and who maybe needs a rest. So a lot, a lot of thinking will be going into the next sort of 24 hours before we. We pick a team, but um, everybody has, has near enough turned up and, and looked like a clean bill of health. We spoke recently, didn't we, about how the games are very important for everyone in the table, such as the nature of the table at the end of the season this season. Mm -hmm. And this is prime example of it, isn't it? We, we play Oldham, who are up there battling the, for the playoffs with us, and then to, on, well, tomorrow night we've got Ebbsfleet, who are down the other end of the table, but things are just as important for them, aren't they? Yeah, it's really tight down there. I mean, if you look at the table now, I think anybody in the bottom half will still have half an eye over their shoulder. So we're really thankful not to be in that position, but every team in the division will want points between now and the end of the season for different reasons, as you've just said. Um, Ebbsfleet have been on a fantastic run of late. And Danny and Annie have done really, really well. Um, and of course, they've got connections with the football club, so I'm assuming you know, they're going to get a, a nice reception from the from the older shot fans. But, but ultimately, after the all said and done, it's a, it's another battle for us. We've got to we've got to solve the problem that is Ebb's fleet. And they, like I said, they were in a good run of form themselves, but so are we. And we just plod on to the next game. And like I said, there's never one bigger game than the next. The the biggest game is the next game, and this one is Ebb's fleet. As you said, there they run a really good run of form. Ebb's fleet, uh, Danny getting manager of the month award, obviously. I mean, something you've had this season as well. So, it, you know, how are we going to stop them? Stop that new manager bounce they've mm. been having. Well, all winning, all good runs always come to an end at some stage. You know, at the end of the day, what, what you don't want is you want you don't want a bad run. So if you do have a, you know, an obstacle in the road, if you like, you need to get over that as quickly as you can. I think we've shown a resilience this season to do exactly that. We've had really a lot of good runs, including the one we're on at the moment. But we tend to throw in one result here and there. But we've responded really well, and I think that's because of the way we we approach every week. We just look at the next game and not beyond that. There's nothing, like I said, there's no bigger game than the next one, and that, that's how, how it has to be. Um, people will talk to you and talk to us, and the players will read that, you know, some games should be easier because of where the opposition are on the table. Not at all. Not, not in my eyes, not in my opinion. Um, everybody's going to be fighting for points, like I said, for, for varying reasons. And we just want to amass as many as we can, as quickly as we can. Looking back at Saturday, it was a great performance from us, wasn't it? Is it about kind of asking the players to do the same kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, the, the easiest team talk is to rinse and repeat what you've just done. But the opposition make a difference. I think Ebbsfleet play in a different manner to, to Oldham. We, in fairness to the, the coaching staff and everybody who prepped us before the game, I thought we got it spot on against Oldham and the lads both off and on the pitch deserve huge amount of credit because we put a lot of work into not being in possession of the ball, which isn't like us. So, like I said, they're a different opposition. They've got their tails up. They'll come there with confidence, quite rightly. Um, but it's been a really good hunting ground for us this season, the EBB, and we want to keep it that way. You know, we've uh, we've made it a place that hasn't been easy for people to take points away from, and I'm sure the same will be the same will happen on Tuesday night. We were backed magnificently on Saturday, weren't yeah. we? Hopefully more of the same tomorrow night. I know Roland said it after the game as well, that when we are 1-0 and holding on to a lead mm. like that, it gives the players the confidence to, to not just hold on, but push forward as well, like we saw on Saturday. Yeah, I've said it many times this season to you and to everybody else that the support we've been given, both home and away, has been superb. You know, they're in, they're in fine voice. The numbers are swelling every week, it seems now, and which is great. I mean, like I said, the club's in a great place. The players are mentally in a good place and physically. So it's on to the next game.